Welcome to Polk Today. I'm your host, Brian Lacey, and today is Monday, November 10th, 2014. And we start off today's show with Polk County Fire Rescue. The holiday season is upon us, and that means family, friends, and food. Public Information Officer Brad Ruman wants to make sure you don't let your guard down and how you can enjoy a safe holiday season. A recent study by the National Fire Prevention Association showed that the number of home cooking fires on Thanksgiving Day was three times the national daily average. Thanksgiving can be a whirlwind of cooking and entertaining guests. With all the commotion in the kitchen during Thanksgiving, fire hazards around the stovetop and oven can be easily overlooked. Cooks should be conscious of fire safety, whether a menu for two or 20. To reduce the risk of home cooking fires, Polk County Fire Rescue recommends the following safety tips. Keep anything that can catch fire, such as oven mitts, wooden utensils, food packaging, towels, curtains, away from the stovetop. Always stay in the kitchen while frying, grilling, or broiling. If you have to leave the kitchen, even for a short period of time, turn off the stove. When simmering, baking, roasting, or broiling food, check it regularly. Remain in the home while the food is cooking and use a timer to remind you that you're cooking. Stay alert. If you're sleepy or have consumed alcohol, do not use the stove or stovetop. If you have a cooking fire, just get out. When you leave, close the door behind you to help contain the fire. Call 911 after you leave. If you try to fight the fire, be sure that everyone else is getting out and you have a clear escape plan. Only fight the fire if someone has called 911. Keep a lid nearby when cooking to smother small grease fires. Smother the fire by sliding the lid over the pan. Turn off the stovetop and leave the pan covered until it is completely cooled. And for an oven fire, turn off the heat. Keep the door closed. For more safety information, visit us at polkfire.net. Heartland Crime Stoppers is an organization that helps law enforcement resolve crime through anonymous tips and monetary awards. It encourages a cooperative partnership between law enforcement, the media, and the community to ensure security and enhance our quality of life. In 2013, there were 2,053 tips received, 209 arrests made, 173 cases cleared, and over $70,500 in total rewards paid out. Here's a look at Markel Rashad Howard, a man initially was wanted for violation of probation and recently upgraded to first degree murder charges. Do you know where 29 year old Markel Rashid Howard is, also known as Shad? There's an outstanding warrant for Shad. For a violation of probation, Shad is 5 foot 6 inches tall, 160 pounds, and has long dreads. He may be driving a 2002 gold or champagne colored Ford Explorer. Help us find Shad. Anyone with information on this or any other case, please call Heartland Crime Stoppers at 1-800-226-TIPS. That's 1-800-226-TIPS. 8477. Callers will remain anonymous and could be eligible for a cash reward of up to $3,000 if the tip leads to an arrest, the recovery of stolen property, or the recovery of illegal drugs or narcotics. You can also leave a web tip at www.heartlandcrimestoppers.com or text your tip by typing TIP196 plus the tip information, and send it to CRIMES, that is 274637. You can also download the Tip Submit app to your smartphone. No matter how you make the tip, they are all anonymous with no recording of any conversations, no caller ID, no tracing of your computer's IP address. We won't ask your name, where you live, or how you got the information. Make the call, make a difference. You know, SPCA Florida is an animal shelter, veterinary clinic, animal hospital, and animal adoption center in the Polk County community. 
yearly they find permanent homes for over 5,000 homeless cats and dogs. Here's a look at Riley and Oakley, a cat and a dog in need of a forever home. Are you looking for a cute cat with great markings and a loving personality? Perfect. Oakley is just the gal for you. Plus, she has quite a story, too. She was rescued from a very, very tall tree. Unfortunately, the lady who rescued her is allergic to cats, so Oakley is at SBCA Florida waiting for her happy ever after ending. We must warn you, though, she does have a habit, catnip. She loves it. Oakley also enjoys using her scratching post, being petted, getting head scratches, and playing with all sorts of toys. She likes the ones with strings and jingly bells. You got cats? Great. Oakley gets along well with other kitties as well as people of all ages, except the really young ones, those under five. As if she could get any cooler, this fun feline knows her name. That's right. All you have to say is Oakley and she'll come trotting your way, especially if you have some catnip. So bring some down with you when you come to meet this cutie. Her name is Oakley. Meet Riley, a sweet, energetic gal who loves everyone. She'll show her affection by giving sweet kisses when you come to visit. This darling dog is lap-loving, adores children of all ages, and she's quite playful. Her hobbies include playing with toys, romping around with other doggies, and going for walks. She's great on a loose leash. Riley would love a house with a fenced backyard so she can run around and play, keeping you entertained for hours. Riley is heartworm positive, but SBCA Florida will pay for her treatment. All you have to do is come and open your heart and open your home to this sweet gal. Riley has been patiently waiting for a very long time, so please adopt her soon. PGTV is Polk County's government access cable TV channel. Our programming allows residents easier access to county government meetings and local programming. One such program is KPASA Polk. KPASA Polk is an overview of the regular board meetings held by the Polk County Board of County Commissioners in Spanish. Host Anita Rivera touches on actions made by the board, presentations and recognitions, and the outcomes of public hearing discussions and government services available to the Hispanic community. Here's a look at the recent show honoring veterans. Uh, Carlos, during you know your your basic training, what oops did you do? What what kind of things did you do that you <laughs> that would get you in trouble? Wow. <laughs> well, I had several, unfortunately. Well, di no de una, porque todo el mundo puede decir de Well, I remember uh, uh, I was a squad leader, and there were um, the squad leaders got to stay you know behind after everybody fell out for formation and make mm -hmm. sure everything was squared away, and we were probably in our you know fifth or sixth week. And at that point, the drill sergeant would allow the, the squad leaders to take a note of things that the other soldiers needed to purchase from the PX. So we would go to the PX and buy these things. Well, one of us got the bright idea, because you couldn't smoke in basic training, to buy some cigarettes. And we also bought a Polaroid camera. Do you remember the camera? Oh, my God. With in <laughs> Instamatics. <laughs> so uh, just real quick, we were, um, everybody was falling out. And uh, one of the guys invited me. I used, I'd smoked before I'd gone to, to basic. Um, and he said, you know, hey man, I, you know, I got some cigarettes last time, do you want to smoke one? I said, yeah, I'll smoke one. So we went into where, um, he broke into where they keep your, your um, civvies and stuff. Oh, yes. And we were in there, we cracked the window open and we're out there watching and cracking on the drill sergeants and talking <laughs> bad about them. And I thought I had heard the door open behind us, but my head, I was lightheaded from the cigarettes. I hadn't smoked in weeks. <laughs> and so, you know, I thought I heard something. And so we kept smoking and we're cracking on the drill sergeants and looking out the window. And then all of a sudden, the, the, the drill sergeant goes, <clears throat> and so we turn around and we start trembling. We couldn't even hold the cigarette in our hands. <laughs> he's like, calm down, gents. I smoke. You know, you guys can smoke too. Everybody needs to smoke. And he's like, matter of fact, you have any more cigarettes? And the guy showed him the cigarettes, the soldier I was with, and he goes, yeah, finish that cigarette and finish the rest of those in that packet. Mm -hmm. So and then, of oh, course, yeah. he took us out in front of everybody and said, while you guys were falling out, these two excellent soldiers were upstairs having a smoke. Mm -hmm. oh, so, yeah, God. so we got smoked and smoked. Oh, my God. Puff and puff. Puff and puff. I used to do that. ¿Qué esto durante tu basic training? Did you get in trouble? ¿Hiciste algo que te fuiste a parrandear? ¿Qué fue? ¿Qué pasó? I had plenty of things in basic training. <laughs> I remember my drill sergeant, drill sergeant Stokes, black gentleman, nice. He goes, Raul. 
come here. He used to speak a little Spanglish to me. We did, we have a wing inspection, room inspection. The two guys not doing good. I was a squad leader. And he used to talk to me like that. Go take care of him. So I thought he said, go whoop him or hit him or do something. <laughs> so I did, I went to the second floor. I beat him up, put the, I put the stripe on like I was in charge. I came back downstairs and I went like this. Look, I got it, I took care of him. What do you do, son? <laughs> I took care of him. What do you do? And we went upstairs and he saw the guy on the floor and I just, what do you do then? He said, you say take care of him. I so I whooped him. I whooped him. <laughs> Hey, that's going to do it for today's show. As a reminder to keep current with programs of progress in the county, visit us online at polk-county.net or follow us on Facebook and Twitter or even check out the Polk County YouTube channel. Now, keep in mind that we are off tomorrow to celebrate Veterans Day, and we invite you to join us on Wednesday when we'll get an update from social services, get tips from the Polk County Small Business Assistance Center, and take a look at a clip from a recent Polk place, just to name a few. For Polk Today, I'm Brian Lacey, and we'll see you on Wednesday.